Okay, so today we're going to be doing questions 61 through 70. So 61 reads, compared with people in developing countries, people in industrialized countries are more likely to eat. So the answer uh, will not be C, D, or E, because corn, rice, and wheat comprise three-fourths of the food that people in LDCs eat. Um, there wouldn't be beans, because people in industrialized countries don't eat as much beans as they do beef which is B. So B is the correct answer here. 62. The current world population is closest to which of the following? So right now the current population is about 7.5 billion and this exam was made in around 1998. So the closest estimate to the population at that time would be D, 5 billion. 63. Which of the following is most likely to result from destruction of wetlands surrounding a river. So it wouldn't be A, because it's actually an increase in sediment load, load in the river. It wouldn't be B, because it's an increased level of pollutants such as nitrates in the river. It wouldn't be C, because it's a decrease, uh, decreased diversity of aquatic species in the river. And it wouldn't be D, because it's a decreased level of oxygen in the river. So the correct answer here is E, an increased frequency of flooding of the river valley. 64. The presence of high levels of fecal coliform bacteria in a water source indicates that the water... Um, it would not be E. I mean, it would be E, because... Feces means bodily waste. So, E reads, has been contaminated by untreated human or animal waste. Uh, it wouldn't be A, because it's not safe to drink water contaminated by feces. Same thing with B. Uh, for C, it does not interrupt photosynthesis. For D, has been recently chlorinated at a sewage treatment plant. Um, the high levels of fecal colif coliform bacteria indicate that it has not been chlorinated. So the only uh, correct answer here is E. Of the following, which of the most serious immediate problems associated with sanitary landfills? So it wouldn't be A, because there's no burning of, uh, of materials with sanitary landfills, which would release CO2 gas. Uh, it wouldn't be C, because the products are actually treated. Um, it wouldn't be D, incomplete degradation of waste, because this is not the main problem with sanitary landfills. And it wouldn't be E because there's no correlation with compaction and settling. So the correct answer here is B, leachate contamination of groundwater. So six. Which of the following organisms which no of the following organisms which occupies the lowest traffic level? So the lion and the hawk are actually top predators, so that they would be at the highest traffic level. Uh, the snake is the second highest. And the spider is a secondary consumer. So the lowest traffic level would be deer, B, since it is a primary consumer. 67. According to the graph, the increase in CO2 concentration in parts per million between 1970 and 1990 is closest to... So in 1970, the CO2 concentration was 325, and in 1990, it was 355. So if you subtract 355 minus 325, the answer is 30 parts per million, B. 68. Which of the following is most likely a significant cause of the general trend indicated by the graph? So it wouldn't be A, reduction of ozone concentration in the upper atmosphere, because this would mean that UV radiation is higher, not CO2 emissions. It wouldn't be uh, 
B, reduction in the size of polar ice caps because it's actually an effect of um, increased CO2 emissions. Um, it wouldn't be C, increase in energy output of the sun because this has no correlation with uh, CO2 levels. And it wouldn't be D because increase in evaporation of ocean water is an effect of increased CO2. So the correct answer is E, increase in consumption of fossil fuels since fossil fuels release CO2 when they are burned. Which of the following most directly explains the periodic fluctuations of the curve? So wouldn't be A, because temperature is an effect of rising CO2. Uh, wouldn't be B, because uh, variations in sea level has no correlation. Wouldn't it be D, because seasonal variations in ocean water temperature has no correlation. And it wouldn't be E, because seasonal variations in human industrial activity is false since industry has no seasons. Industries operate year-long. The correct answer would be C, seasonal variations in photosynthetic activity. 70. Which of the following is most likely to be the direct result of lack of genetic, genetic diversity in a food crop such as corn? So it wouldn't be A because decreased kernel size has no correlation. It wouldn't be B because decreased potential yield only happens sometimes. Uh, wouldn't it be C, decreased dependence on chemical fertilizers since it should be increased dependence. And wouldn't it be E since it should it should be decreased resistance to pests. So the best answer here is increased accessibility to plant disease. D.